What if your laptop could predict your next move? This is the Surface Pro 11, Microsoft's vision of an AI powered future. But is it a glimpse into tomorrow's computing or just a pricey experiment? Let's explore the Surface Pro's features, unexpected limitations, and everything in between to see if it's as smart as it claims. Let's start with this hardware. The Surface Pro 11 impresses with its sleek design and premium build quality. Microsoft has crafted a device that feels substantial yet surprisingly lightweight at just 1.97 pounds. That's lighter than many competitors, including some iPad Pro models. But does lighter always mean better? While the Surface Pro 11's portability is a definite plus, some users report discomfort with extended use. There is this new flex cover. It's a significant upgrade from previous Surface keyboards offering a more satisfying typing experience with improved key travel. The larger trackpad is also a welcome addition for those who prefer navigating without a touchscreen or mouse. But here's where things get interesting. The Flex keyboard now also features wireless charging capabilities. Simply attach it to the Surface Pro 11 and it'll automatically juice up, allowing you to use this wirelessly. Now, when it comes to the display, Microsoft equipped the Surface Pro with a stunning 13 inch OLED display as an option. With a resolution of 2880 by 1920, it delivers vibrant colors and deep inky blacks that makes everything from documents to videos pop off the screen. But there is a catch. While the colors are fantastic, the brightness does leave something to be desired, especially if you plan on using your Surface outdoors. Another area where Microsoft has stepped up its game is in the color options. The Surface Pro 11 comes in multiple finishes. You get the black and silver, along with a unique dune brownish color and this eye-catching sapphire blue that's sure to turn heads at your local coffee shop. A splash of color like this is a welcome change in a world of endless black and silver laptops. The kickstand that we've come to know and love on the Surface devices is still here and it's as versatile as ever. You can adjust the angle as much as you like without worrying about the device tipping over. Flexibility is great whether you're using the Surface Pro as a tablet or in laptop mode. But here's my issue. Have you ever tried using a Surface Pro on your actual literal lap? It's not always the most comfortable experience and that's something to keep in mind if you're often working on the go. Microsoft does make a Surface laptop if that's more your style. Up next, let's talk performance. Microsoft has made some bold claims about this device's capabilities, but how does it actually measure up in real world use? Let's start with the raw numbers. The Surface Pro with its Snapdragon X Elite chip scored an impressive 13,097 on the Geekbench 6 multi-core benchmark test. To put that in perspective, it actually outperformed the MacBook Air M3, which scored 11,450. That's impressive for a tablet sized device, but it should be noted that the MacBook Air does not have a fan to cool it down while the Surface Pro does. Now here's another area where things do get more interesting. While the Surface Pro 11 excels in multi-core performance, it falls slightly behind in single core tasks. The MacBook Air M3 scored 3,082 in single core tests compared to the Surface Pro's 2813. Now, speaking of multitasking, let's talk about real world performance. In my testing, the Surface Pro handled heavy workloads with relative ease. And I threw everything I could at it, multiple browser tabs, video editing, even some light gaming and light gaming because you can't really do heavy gaming on it. But the result, smooth performance across the board. Its ability to transcode a two gigabyte 4K clip to 1080p in just under a minute was particularly impressive. That's faster than the MacBook Air M3, which took about a minute and 10 seconds to do the same thing. However, not everything is that impressive. One area where the Surface Pro stumbles is compatibility with certain applications. Some software, particularly creative tools like Adobe Premiere Pro and a lot of PC games simply aren't optimized yet for the Snapdragon chips. These apps run an emulation which can lead to slower performance and increased battery drain. It's a reminder that while the Surface Pro is pushing boundaries, the software ecosystem is still catching up. And as it pertains to battery life, Microsoft claims the Surface Pro can last all day on a single charge. In my continuous web surfing test, it managed an impressive 12 hours. But there's a catch here too. Real world usage does tell a different story. Many users, myself included, found that under more demanding conditions, think full brightness, multiple apps running, video calls, etc. the battery life would drop to around 
five hours. This discrepancy between claimed and actual battery life certainly isn't unique to the Surface Pro, but it's particularly notable given Microsoft's emphasis on all day productivity. But now that we've explored the hardware and performance, let's talk more about those AI features. Microsoft has been hyping this as the first true AI PC, and at the core of the Surface Pro's AI capabilities is Windows Copilot. This AI assistant is designed to help with tasks across your entire ecosystem. Need to summarize a document? Copilot's got you covered. Want to generate an image for your presentation? It can do that too. But while Copilot is impressive in theory, its practical applications can be hit or miss. One of the standout AI features is live captions. It's pretty cool. You can have a real-time translations of spoken languages appear right on screen, which sounds great, right? Well, it is, but there's a slight delay. We're talking about a few seconds between speech and caption, and obviously it's not a deal breaker, but it can be a bit jarring in live conversations, which it does support. Then there's the co-creator feature in Microsoft Paint. You give it a prompt and it generates an image. But let's be real, the results can be a mixed bag. Sometimes you get a masterpiece and other times, well, it's more abstract than you might've hoped. And there was a feature announced alongside these PCs called Recall. It was supposed to be this groundbreaking feature that would help you find documents using natural language descriptions. I personally thought this sounded great until Microsoft decided to remove it. And the reason, privacy concerns. Apparently, Windows wasn't handling this data as securely as we would have hoped. The feature will be back in October for Windows insiders to start testing out. But it was disappointing to see that this flagship feature didn't make it out of the gate. So how does all this AI integration compare to traditional computing methods? It's amazing in some ways. Tasks that once required multiple steps or specialized software can now be done with a simple voice command or text prompt. But in other ways, it feels like we're still in the early stages. The AI features don't always feel essential to the computing experience. Compare this to something like voice assistants on smartphones. When they first came out, they were novelties. Now, many of us use them daily without a second thought. The AI features on the Surface Pro feel like they're at that early stage, impressive, but not yet essential. But as we know, technology moves fast. What feels like a gimmick today could become an essential feature tomorrow. It's also worth noting that many of these AI features aren't exclusive to the Surface Pro at all. They're part of Windows 11 and are available on other similar Snapdragon powered devices. So while the Surface Pro may be optimized for these features, it's not the only way to access them. The Surface Pro 11th edition is a powerful device that pushes the boundaries of what a tablet laptop hybrid can do. Its performance rivals that of traditional laptops and its AI features, while not revolutionary, still show promise for the future. The stunning OLED display and improved keyboard are definite highlights. However, the high price tag makes it a significant investment, especially when factoring in essential accessories like that $350 keyboard cover. Compatibility issues with some software and the removal of certain promised features like recall also reduce excitement. For those who prioritize portability and performance and don't mind paying a premium, the Surface Pro is an excellent choice. But if you're primarily focused on office tasks or need specific software that isn't optimized for ARM processors, you'll likely find better value elsewhere. Now, if you're curious about what's going on on the Mac side of things, as it pertains to AI computing, be sure to check out the video I did on the upcoming Apple intelligence features. These are exciting times for sure if you're into keeping tabs on new ways we'll be using our devices. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.